Happy Friday, everybody. The level of concern is high. It's DEFCON 1 level of concern because it's the Crit City race. And there is ample scope for a drafting mishap. Before I go any further, is the sound okay? Jane's on a conference call, so I'm going to rely on the chat. Bit of a lag. That's right. I didn't just throw this live stream together, Scott and Ed. Sound is good. Excellent. So the level of concern is high because I've picked a quick race that can be done before work starts. And hopefully will leave me with enough legs for tomorrow. Crit City, the powerhouses that are Keith Robertson and Tim Fulford. Tim from Cycling Hub are in the race. It's gonna be difficult. But also today, we're in a black and white because tonight, the inaugural chit chat on backpedal is taking place 6.30 p.m. Everybody is cordially invited. The link to the YouTube channel Backpedal is in the description. It is the brainchild of Mr. Ed Laverack and Scott, Scott Hewish. Well, we... And basically, it's been formed on the back of the fact that Scott and Ed have ascertained, as have I, that we're getting huge engagement in all the live chat and the comments on the videos. And we really enjoy each other's company. Scott and Ed are great friends. I'm very lucky to have them, but we value hugely the community that we have banter with, fun with, share insights, training knowledge and of course gives me a little bit of the old constructive criticism which I hugely appreciate. My drafting is awful. So the idea behind Backpedal is to kick it off with a bit of chit chat and hopefully many of you will subscribe, jump into the live chat during the live chit chat and over time we'll see where it takes us. Basically it makes it easier for everybody in our community to chip in ideas, take part and um, maybe organise some events, whether virtual or real life. And there won't be any big name stars on it, because, well, Ed aside, he could attract some big name stars. Um, I certainly couldn't. So it's really a, an opportunity for a bit of a chit chat. It doesn't even have to be cycling. So backpedal tonight, Sunday, uh, not Sunday, it's not Sunday tonight, sorry. But it's been a lot, I promise you, it's been a long week at work, I kind of. Tonight, Friday, 6.30 p.m. Um, link is in the description. Yeah, Gus Byman, Goose. What a comeback this autumn. You know, elite, Zwifter, maybe Gus, maybe. If you keep on this trajectory, it'll be the world's next year for you. If the um, Dutch Cycling Federation has any sense, maybe. How good would that be? We can get behind a petition for both Ed and Gus next year. 
again through the medium of back pedal and of course the rest of the channels. Right, I'm just going to do a quick 30 30 just to get the heart rate up. So I just need to get the uh, screens right. That got to hurry up. Now I've been cutting short my warm ups, getting out of bed too late. Only having 10 minutes before the chat starts. So today I did the proper job. Got up early. Boy, didn't I want to. Super tired at the moment. And um, I like the three sisters as a warm up. Bit of out the saddle action on the Ford KOM, keeping it below threshold. Same three, that kind of thing. Then a gradual ramp of power before we get to the epic and then see how the legs feel on the Epic. They feel okay. Hi Jason. So I haven't said hello to everybody, my apologies. Really appreciate everybody joining. I am really nervous about this. A one hour warm up. Nice David. Yeah. Do you know what, I do think I'm sometimes better for a bigger warm up. Um, I think my body is a bit like an oil tanker. It takes time to wake up. If you wake it up too fast, little alarm bells start ringing everywhere. I think that happened to me last weekend. Heart rate was horrendous. It was like, for the hour and a half, just over an hour and a half, like 170 something the whole time. And on the Thursday, on that horrific Champs-Élysées course, it was 179 for 48 minutes, and that ain't good. I don't really want that in my life. <coughs> Grim, happy birthday. Congratulations. You're doing an Everesting now. Nice. Grim, Everesting, amazing. What a way to celebrate your birthday. Hi Giacomo. Yeah, when it gets going, it does all right. That's right, Giacomo. G'day, Steve. Is that a decent Australian accent? Ryan in South Africa. Sandita. All the way in Hawaii. Thank you so much for staying up. I appreciate that. John. Gus. Lord of the statistics. Yeah, yeah, nice one, Simon. That is a beautiful. And we've got David, Michael, sorry, John. Appreciate everybody being here. Scott and Ed. I'm sure I've missed a few people out at the very beginning there, so my apologies. I saw Ruben in the chat at the beginning. Hey, Ruben. Now, I'm properly concerned about this. Gosh dang. <laughs> The last two ascents, my word. That is sublime, nice one, Grim. Full respect for that. Theo, Jason, how's it all going? Ian, the beautiful neck scarf, the neck warmer that you sent me features in the vlog on Sunday. Really love it, looking forward to getting actually outside. I can't go outside at the moment because I've got a hospital procedures next week. And so I have to self isolate. Hopefully nothing too serious, I don't think so, but we'll see. Let's go. He said, 
trying desperately to sound semi-confident. 11 hours, 10 minutes. Dear me, I would be in all kinds of trouble well before then. After three hours on the bike, I nearly cried. Yeah, looking to race tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna see how the legs feel. I'll either do an Alp de Zwift on Sunday, or if tomorrow the legs feel okay. I've forgotten how to pronounce it. There is one at 8.15. Mantando, O Corpo, or something like that. It's horrific. I think Gus, um, Tim, um, others are gonna be in there. It's 100 kilometers, it gets a bit of the old um, endurance in the legs. Are you in this one actually, Tim? Have you deigned us with your presence? Hi, Martin. Lots of gurning coming up. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be DEFCON 1 in terms of the pain face. Yeah, let the hype begin, eh, Tim? Bloody hell. So you're in it. And so big powerhouses to look out for. Keith Robertson. He destroyed me on the Champs-Élysées, literally. When I started crying around about lap six and quit, Keith went on to get P2, P2. That boy is strong. No, I'm not racing them. No, I'm not racing them. I'm just um, probably just take part in the event. No, I mean, I'm, I've got to be honest. I find it quite, you know, I have to accept that I am a mid to lower mid pack A racer on a good day, you know, I can do all right, but generally speaking, I, I find it quite, you know, quite, I don't you know, too much pressure. Um, I find it overwhelming. So not racing with them, I happen to be in the event potentially with them, but I am gonna see how the legs go. I might, I might ride, uh, ride the um, Alp de Zwift on the Sunday, because I do want a nice little Alp de Zwift. Hey Keith, good luck. Team will be difficult to beat. Yeah, as will you. Think about me. Right. So, I think we come out on this course. I haven't raced it in a long time. It's a high power course. Sorry, very rude of me. It's a high power course. I think there's like a little hairpin turn and then you go into this kind of undulating bit, but it's on an incline. Hi Phil, how's it going Phil Ridge? I can sit further back than I think. Yeah, I'll try. Jerome, how's it going? Oh dear me. Brian, all the way from South Africa, shouldn't you be at school sir? Shouldn't you be at school doing your homework? And school work? Or is it a break? Oh, come on, Philip. Right. Bit of water. So back pedal tonight, 6.30 p.m. of a bit of live chit chat. Ed, Scott, and I, opportunity for the community just to come together and chip in ideas as to where we want to take the community and talk a little bit about, I don't know, Scott and Ed have the agenda. <laughs> yeah, a bit of chit chat. Who doesn't love a bit of gossip? Right, get the.
Martin Bengston, he of the epic power. Cross.
Back pedal tonight, 6.30 p.m.
Ugh. <clears throat> Timmy. Oh, let me just get the bike going. I know I did wrong. I thought I was so over into my limit. I was so over the limit, sorry. Nice one, Martin. Nice one, Tim, and nice one, Keith. I'm so angry at myself. I genuinely thought I deployed the aero with about 350, 400 meters to go. I mistook the bend that I was on. <clears throat> oh, I'm so angry at myself. That was a proper opportunity for a position. All right, P1 to three. I gotta be honest, I do wonder if I ever will win a race on Zwift. I wasn't expecting to win today in all honesty, but you can see, you can, you can see I wasn't on the front very much at all. And you can see that to maintain position, I wasn't able to come off the power, not even on the downhill. I could sometimes drop it to 220 because I don't have the weight on the avatar to drag me down the hill for respite. Did you win, Keith? Yeah, I, I cannot describe the sinking sensation when I was like, I was up there in second place. I think I'm, I was sprinting for first or second. I was telling myself, oh, you're bloody well sprinting for first or second. How can this be? And then we go around the corner and the dawning realization that I'm another 400 meters short. <laughs> I mean, that just epitomizes the chaos and confusion that is my life. Which race is that, Ed? A try a race that finishes on top of Bologna, yeah, definite. I always look out for them, Ed. I do love a Bologna race. They don't have too many of them, it's always TTs. Cheers, Keith. How did you go, Martin? I, I literally couldn't, I, I think I saw I was seventh, which is just, oh, so angry at myself. I'm properly angry now. Gus, Gus, how did I do on the drafting? Give me a mark out of 10. Hi, David. Yeah. I'm not a reliable in the moment strategist, David. 
<laughs> Thank you for phrasing that in such a diplomatic way. Maybe you should take over the Brexit negotiations. Clearly our Prime Minister's not capable of that. Bit of politics. Oh. And I've got a secret to share with you all as well. well. It's not really a secret. But today, and this is the first time I've done this. Where are we? Let's go to menu. It's a Zwift tip. Well, it's not really a tip because most of you know it already. So I think I need to go to settings. There we go. Now you see here, I've moved my trainer difficulty down from 100% where it's been for the last three, four months. D d three out of 10, Lord. Zero, David. You're, you're joking me, aren't you? Four. <laughs> if you're being kind. Four point. Yeah, but I'm lighter, Lord. I'm lighter. Ed, Ed, tell him, Ed. Lighter does make a difference, doesn't it? But there we go. I felt easier on a 50%. Because what a few people said to me after that last race where we went through Titans Grove twice, I was kind of coming off the front at the top of the hill. And that's part because I think on the Watt bike, certainly, there's a little bit of a lag on the really undulating terrain. And so, the resistance is kicking in just as everybody's coming towards the top and I'm spiking the power at the wrong time. But we're training difficulty 50% there on those little rolling um, climbing bit. Hey, Oslo. Um, thank you for that, Oslo. Yeah, maybe a bit more efficient. Yeah, well, that was it. Uh, the Ben Husser. The, the Ben Husser. Sorry, I've mispronounced your name. De Benz Hus. De Benz Hus, sir. Thank you very much, De Benz Hus, sir. I love the squirrel, by the way. My, um, well, my Jane. Jane, when she runs on the treadmill, her friends call her the squirrel because her little hands do this. It's quite funny. One day when we're back in the gym together, which is rare, I'll film it for you all. She'll love that. You don't get arrested downhill either. Ah, uh, open my mind. I will do, Martin. I will open my mind. I need to draft better. I am suitably chastised. Well, thank you all. I thought my drafting, I, I'd given myself a seven. <laughs> but clearly I'm in the one to four. 200 to 250 in that group. Uh, okay. I'll have a little look back. At, I'll actually look back at the replay on this. Oh, dear me. <laughs> They're winding me up. See, Coach Laverack is coming to my defence. <laughs> anyway, the reason for today is that the live stream on a Saturday, uh, is it? It's Friday, isn't it? Sorry. Oh, God, I wish it was Saturday. <laughs> it's better than it was. Andy, thank you. I'll take that. I will take that. Progression. I talk a lot about progression in the vlog, and it comes in lots of small little steps. And sometimes it isn't linear. Sometimes progression is a bit down and then back up. You know, maybe that's what we're going to see with Ed coming back from obviously his three, four weeks off. Initially, it's a few steps back, but with all that extra rest and freshness, will it actually be the foundation to push on way beyond? Let's hope so, you know, could well be. You haven't raced in a long time here. And I think that's partly why I've done a couple of these difficult crit style races. Um, on the longer climbing races, I can always justify getting dropped because I don't have five watts a kilogram or more FTP. But here, I definitely always I know that I have the capability to stay in the bunch. Um, and so, just trying to get myself used to a few of these more intense ones. Imagine having to give everyone watching a pound every time I'm in the top 10. What, what about every time I'm not in the top 10? That would stop the power surges because I rarely get into the top 10, Martin. This, I mean, P7 is good for me. I you gotta say, you know, it shows you how low my bar is that I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, yeah you're right, Chris. I think I, I didn't deliberately chase them down. I'm still trying to get used to this. I touched on it at the very beginning. I've got a bit of a diesel engine. 
And once it gets going, and then I suddenly stop, and then I try and go again, it doesn't always play ball. Sometimes a cylinder or two misfires. Yeah, I think a team backpedal on Zwift would be good. We could live stream it on backpedal as well. That'd be nice. Try to be as far in the back of the group as possible without being dropped. Yeah, that's a good idea, Ruben. I might do that on Tempest Fugit Flat one day. Um, Gus always says that to me as well. I'm a slow learner. I was at school. <laughs> of that, there is no doubt. Uh, to, yeah, the, to, the, being at the front, yeah, that is something I got from the outdoor crits as well. Um, it dies hard on the outdoor crits because I did a lot of that over the winter last year and uh, late autumn. If you're certainly in Cat 4 and 3, I got from Cat 4 to Cat 3 in the outdoor crits. If you're off the back and it strings out, you can sometimes be stuck behind wheels um, and find it very hard to kind of move up and then you know, you've got to potentially try and bridge across, you know, 10, 15, 20 meters, which doesn't sound like very much, but it is if the ones who have broken away are going full gas. And so always um, on the outdoor crits, especially when you've got all the turns and the, you know, they're quite tight turns, some of them. And obviously Hog Hill, you've got a steep hill. Always want to be not on the very front taking the air. Crikey, you know, boy, did I not like taking the air when I was outdoors, but um, near the front for the positioning. And so I think there's a little bit of that psychologically and also a fear of somebody losing a wheel in front of me on Zwift. Yeah, well, do you know what, Phil, Phil Rich? I was gonna say, what with all the kind of longer efforts that I've been doing, I've done quite a few of those recently. I did feel like my fitness was better here. Like 3.07, for the 20 minutes, that's definitely PB power for me recently. The best I've ever had um, on Zwift is 313 and I was weighing more, I was weighing about 66. So coming in at 64 against 307, that's right in line with my recent FTP for the 20 minute duration. I can't remember what the actual watts was. I think it's close to 307 or something. What did I eat before the race? Ah, Matthias, now you're talking my game. I had cold coffee and amino acids, but and I haven't got it in front of me because I think I put it in the recycling. I had a full fat Coke. The breakfast of princes, I think you'll agree. <coughs> pace partner. Looking forward to seeing what that pace partner is. Sprint training. Yeah, yeah, sprint training. Need to do a bit of that. So, Keith, did you win it, Keith? I didn't. In, um, and Martin, where did you come? Tell me where you came in the race. And Tim, where did you come in the race, sir? Ah, oh, graph time, science, of course. Yes, my apologies. Well, I spun the legs out quite beautifully there, I think. I'm hoping I'll be good to go for tomorrow. Right. So, the science. And of course, we can talk science in the chit chat. So what do I do? I go to menu. I, I should know this by now. Wait, it said 307, I think I did for the average power. Yeah, five minutes, yeah, these are decent numbers for me. Five, five second power for the sprint, yeah, I know. That is not a Chris Pritchard style sprint, I, I will admit. I'm just gonna quickly put my settings back to 100 so I don't forget that for tomorrow. Right, so we go to end ride. Okay, now I'm just gonna brace myself yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Um, I'll come back to that in a second, Gus, 100%. Yeah, I do see what you're saying. Yeah, that's quite red, isn't it? Where did the heart rate peak? Yeah, the heart rate did all right here. I, did, I only went to 180 at the very end. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Keith, uh, there's lots of good tips coming here because clearly, yeah, I think, um, well, that is quite the graph, isn't it, really? I really enjoyed that, though. I've got to say, I, I enjoyed it. 
I enjoyed it. It's quite uplifting. And what I also would say, 40%, okay. What I also would say is that as all, you know, the little micro recoveries that I was getting in these, you know, and I call micro recovery like 220 to 260 watts. Um, that was enough actually in this kind of duration of a race. Those little micro recoveries felt good. And so putting down that 307 watts there compared to putting it down in the pure FTP actually felt a little bit easier. I've got to be honest with you than on Zwift, uh, than, than on the, FTP, the 20 minute FTP test. Um, so I don't know, 220 average. Oh, yeah, because that's good to grow. Anyway, so anyway, Ed, Scott, tonight backpedal. I know I've been talking about it a lot, but we're super excited about it because it is a forum for a bit of chit chat and we'll explain, hopefully, Ed and Scott will have a good idea as to what the longer term objective of the channel is. I'm only joking. Um, but we'll have a little chit chat. Um, but also, I guess it's, a, it's definitely a forum for just the community, everybody, for us to come together, only if you want to, because of course you may not want to, um, have a bit of a chit chat live, as it were, when not, you know, not having to spike the heart rate to 170, 180, um, and exchange ideas, exchange um, insight, whether it's cycling or general life, that kind of thing, but also come up with ideas as to where to take the community indoors and out. Um, and I think it's also a good little place potentially to put a bit of joint content, um, some madness, no doubt, in Exmoor. I do love the madness in Exmoor. Maybe you might even drink more than half a cider. I probably won't drink more than half a cider. I'm now rambling, the caffeine is still kicking in. Agnes, how are you? Good to see you. Caffeine is definitely kicking in, um, which is always good ahead of a fulsome day at work. But um, we're looking forward to it. Um, I am now probably, I need to, I need to round this off. Um, so tomorrow, um, if the legs are feeling good, it's gonna be 8.15. If, if anybody, uh, David Raynham, if you want to show me how it's done, most definitely, um, as you did last weekend um, on the Mantando o Corpo. Let me just get this right. Mantando o Corpo. Oh, oh come on, Philip. Sorry. Mantando o Corpo. I got it here, so it'll only take me two seconds. Oh. M 8.15 anyway. It's an, uh, oh, God. Now it's tempting me to the volcano. One second. Mantando o Corpo. Come on. It take my, my Wi-Fi is slow all of a sudden. Right. Yeah. Matando o Corpo. And basically the, the loop is the bigger loop. It's 100 kilometers. So it's going to be perfect for getting the endurance up. Yeah, jungle of death twice, I believe. And I hate the jungle, as you know. It's to climb out of the jungle is properly emotional as well. And I super would appreciate um, anybody who wants to join uh, to keep me company. Um, certainly in no more than the Grappetto, most likely. Obviously, I'll try and cling on for grim death as long as I can at the front um, with those who are better at drafting than me. <laughs> um, but it could be fun. So a long one, try, trying to get the endurance built up ahead of the events in the spring and summer. Looking forward to tonight, 6.30 p.m., backpedal. Please do subscribe because we'll start putting content up there, potentially some live streams, live rides, this kind of thing. Um, and the bell and all that kind of stuff will let you know when stuff is going on there. Um, super fun, hopefully. Um, share ideas there. Oh, sorry, I've got, can you switch the bike on? You can switch the bike on the jungle, John, but I think bearing in mind that my ability to multitask is um, horrendous, um, I, I will stick to probably the Tron bike in all honesty and just try and find a group to ride in. Yeah, 100, yeah, I, I am watching that, Ed. 100, I cannot go too deep, I get that 100%. Um, so all good, but see you all tonight, hopefully, um, and if not, see you tomorrow. And thank you as ever for your support, really appreciate the grades and the drafting. I'll see if I can get the five next time, small steps. But in the meantime, have a wonderful Friday, and whoever you are, and whatever you do, please remember to live, thrive, and do stay healthy. Take care all.